All right, what is up everybody? It is day five of 75 hard. Me and my walk buddy, Audrey, are here doing workout number two for the day. Uh, we worked out this morning. It is three for Audrey. She did three miles, but the workouts are back to back, so I can't count it. It's two days in a row, three days for her though. Nice. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, it's been a great day. Beautiful day. Just had the kids for the past 24 hours, which was awesome. Got outside with them yesterday um, and had some outside time, which is critical in my opinion for everybody. Um, and then hit all my goals yesterday. Was kind of rushing to get the water done last night because we had the late walk, as you guys saw. Got rained on, um, but got everything done and got started early this morning. Finished all the pages early. Um, did my workout, went to work, made sure I was tracking everything I put in me today. And now finishing up the second workout and then water tonight for the meeting with the, uh, with the guys. But overall, day five has gone pretty well. Looking forward to day six. It'll be the furthest I've ever gone with 75 hard. I've only done it one other time. I only made it to day five and then I stopped doing it. But, uh, but yeah, so been pretty good. Um, things I want to maybe talk about today because we had another person on the team fail today and have to start, start back at day one, which is, you know, understandable. It happens. It's part of the whole thing. But what happened, I guess what, and I heard something from another team member today, which was extremely encouraging and just like motivating, but the importance of having a routine and having a plan for your day um, is critical with this, I'm noticing. Um, routine, I've been having, I've always been a big advocate for morning routines. Waking up a little bit earlier, and getting yourself kind of mentally prepared for the day, um, planning it out and seeing what you have coming up for that day so that when you actually step out the door to execute, um, you know what you're doing. Uh, that is critical with this whole program, I'm, I believe. Um, one of the team members that, was, uh, that told me about her routine who was hesitant to start 75 hard, but jumped into it, um, she developed, she's already developed a great um, routine for her morning with her kids and her reading that helps her get probably one of the harder things out of the way early, which is that 10 pages a day. Some people, like myself, struggle at reading or it takes them a long time. So we need to have lots of time or a section of time at, like put aside to get that reading done. And this girl, she's like, I feed my kids breakfast first, then I have that gives me enough time to do my 10 pages and then I get them their second breakfast or snack for the rest of the day. And that just made me smile ear to ear because that's what it's all about. This is a girl who didn't really have a set routine in the morning, but ever since starting 75 hard, she's naturally developed this routine and it's kind of already prepped her for her days. So that's setting her up nicely for the rest of the time during this uh, program. But also for the person who failed, sometimes if we deviate from that routine or maybe we don't kind of like plan it out hour by hour, um, we can fall off track pretty quickly, especially when things pop up randomly and you can't get it done. So routine is essential. Every morning I wake up, even, okay, let's say take for instance tomorrow, I gotta be at work at 5.30. I am setting my alarm for 3.30 because I know that it takes me at least 30 minutes to kind of stir and get out of bed and then I need to do my morning routine which is I go immediately start making my coffee because I love my coffee in the morning and then I go and I make my bed, I get everything ready, I put the coffee or I put, pour the water into the percolator, let it percolate uh, and then I go sit for my meditation because I like to meditate every day. By the time I'm done that meditation, my coffee's ready, I pour it, I sit down with a nice little snack, usually a bagel or something, because that's like my go-to, or some oatmeal, uh, and then I commence literally writing out my day, um, everything I'm doing for that day. Go to work, get ready, get dressed, uh, everything down the day. Recently, I've kind of taken a step back from that and haven't been so detailed, but I've switched it over to making a power list for the day, which is five things that I need to do that day that help me progress towards my goals. Um, so if you don't do anything like this, oh, and then on top of that or after that, I do my daily gratitude, which is gratitude for three things for that day. 
uh, my intentions for that day. And then I do some affirmations for myself, which help kind of motivate me and keep me going. Um, so those, that's my morning routine. And then after that, it's off to the races and I go start my day and execute as best I can. Things are always gonna come up, things might deviate, but as long as I have a plan and I know what I'm doing from the start, I can be a little more confident the minute I walk out the door and that helps me stay on track for most of the day. So as we're getting a little deeper into this program, having a routine is essential. I highly suggest it. If you don't do a routine yet or if you don't have a morning routine to set yourself up for the day, please start doing that. I think it's, I think you'll see the benefit in it. Yeah, you might lose, you know, 30 minutes to an hour of sleep that you could have, but you're not gonna be waking up and running into your day with no plan of action, no plan of attack, no idea of how to handle things when they come up. So um, I highly suggest trying out that morning routine. But other than that, day five is almost over. Finish this walk, drink one more little thing of water, uh, finish my dinner, take a picture, and then it's off to bed because tomorrow's another hundred early day for me. Most days usually are, but tomorrow's a good one. But other than that, uh, hope you all have a great day today. Me and Audrey did. But uh, we will see you tomorrow for day six. I'll see you, Audrey. Bye. See y'all.